Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now today I'm gonna to discuss how cell phones can actually cause brain cancer, and of course I'll give you some tips and proven solutions on how you can avoid this. And I bring this up uh, because about a year ago, a friend of mine on Facebook actually posted pictures of his face where he had skin cancer. The same place that he always puts his cell phone on, right, all the time. And luckily, with proper treatment, he is, you know, his cancer free now and will hopefully stay that way. And when I first found out, I'll be honest with you, I was shocked because, you know, it's someone I know, right? It's, it's difficult to see that. Yet I was also wasn't really that surprised because I have surgeon friends of mine who've been telling me that they're doing a lot more tumor removal surgeries where people typically have their cell phones all the time, such as on their face. Uh, their ears, because, you know, people put it on their phone and also with their Bluetooth headsets are also on their thighs and butt. They're taking out tumors because, you know, people typically put their phones in their pant pockets in the front or their back pockets and also breasts because apparently, you know, many women who exercise put their cell phones in their sports bras when they're working out. Obviously, not everyone will get cancer because of cell phones, and I'm sure there will be lots of people in studies who will say that cell phones don't and can't cause cancer, and that maybe I'm just crazy for even bringing this up. Just like many decades ago, scientific studies and doctors said how cigarettes were safe and actually healthy for you, right? I mean, pregnant women were actually told to smoke by their doctors to help them relax because it's good for the baby, actually. Anyway, you can do your own research. However, in 2011, the World Health Organization listed cell phone use in the same carcinogenic hazard, cancer-causing, category as lead, engine exhaust, and chloroform. And researchers found a dose-response association between cell phone use and actually brain cancer. They established that after 896 hours, the risk of brain cancer tripled. Basically, this is the equivalent of five years of use at only 30 minutes a day. Now, in all honesty, even though I'm not on my phone as much as most people, sadly, I can pretty much guarantee that I've been, I've done my 30 minutes daily during the past five years, and I think most of us have. Now, what's ironic or sad as I think about this is that I'm spending all this time and money on staying healthy, right? eating well and exercising and, you know, managing my stress levels and taking lots of supplements. And yet, maybe these stupid cell phones might be the cause of some major health issue in my life in the future. And that's a bit of a scary thought. Now, what's worse is that this interphone study completely ignored the fact that there is a growing evidence of literature showing that pulsed microwave-like radiation from modern cell phones disrupts living cells and causes our DNA to become unstable, which can actually turn on and accelerate cancer genes and other chronic diseases. Actually, the study was done with people who had been on cell phones for about 10 years. Yet scientists understand that brain tumors often take three or four decades to develop, and thus, this is even worse news. This was only based on 10 years, not 30 or 40. And studies by a physician researcher, Dr. Leonard Hardell of Sweden, regarded as an expert about this topic, stated that those who have used cell phones heavily for a decade have doubled risk of brain tumors. And what's worse is that teenagers who begin heavy cell phone use have between four to five times more brain tumors by their late 20s. Anyway, you get the point. Now, listen, it's not definitive as cell phones will cause cancer. However, I think it's something for all of us to be more concerned about, give it more thought, especially for our kids and the fact that we are using them more and more each day. And of course, I'm not here to say don't use your cell phones because that's just a crazy request. However, I am saying that we should all try to use them less or simply don't have them attached to us all day long, especially when you're not using them. For example, don't have your cell phone lying near you while you're sleeping at night. In fact, it shouldn't even be in your bedroom. It's bad for your body. It disrupts sleep, and it's just not needed, right? At the very least, put it on airplane mode. In fact, there's about five things you can do, proven solutions, to help reduce the radiation you receive from your cell phones. They're simple to do, so it's not going to disrupt your life or anything like that. And you can actually get all that information. You can continue and watch that next video 
right here on YouTube. Just click the link below in the description area and go ahead and watch it right now. And as always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.